Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So, I'm hoping this will be the final part of my uh, stash show along. <laughs> there is quite a bit to get through, so we'll see how far we get. Um, I've got partials, and then I've got all my double-sided tape canvases, which will be a little bit difficult to show, because obviously they've got the cover sheets on and I don't really want to take cover sheets off all of them. So we'll see how we get on. Uh, so we'll start off with the biggest one first, which is my 30 by 40 double-sided tip canvases. Uh, this one is a, a two size folder, I believe. Is it an A2? Possibly an A2, but it's a larger size. I don't think I've got uh, no, I don't think I've got the size on this one. But again, I believe I got this one from the range, either the range or Hobbycraft. Um, and I believe they're on Amazon as well. So this is going to be some fun. Some of them are very old. Um, some of them, <laughs> my goodness me, um, yeah, aren't brilliant. But I've kept them all. Uh, some of them I did buy as presents. I have kept them all, so we'll see how we go. So let's start. How can we do this? Need a bigger desk. <laughs> Turn them upside down. We'll do it that way. Not that it makes much difference because you can't really see what they are anyway. So this is the oldest one. This is from September 2020. And this is from the Zooey Star Store on AliExpress. And I bought this one to do for Hubby. It's three orangutans there. It's not a brilliant picture there, is it? I will maybe peel this one back because this is, I say, originally when they started doing the double-sided tapes, they used to come in one lovely piece of cover sheet. Uh, oh, that's not much better. Well, you can more or less see we've got three orangutans there because uh, Hubby is absolutely orangutan mad. Or oh, Yutangs, as he calls them. <laughs> uh, he's always wanted to go to Borneo to see them, but uh, sadly I don't think that will happen now. But never mind. Never say never is my motto. But yeah, so that one was a 30, uh, well, 40 by 30 because it's a landscape style. Yeah, I think that one was about 30 colours-ish. I'm not going to count them. Let's say we've got a lot to get through so we'll be here all day if you've got any comments or questions if you let me know um and i'll try and answer them for you try and dig out things that i've done actually is that on the back uh, oh it's 42 colors excuse me yeah i have written it on the back look look i was organized <laughs> and it cost me six pound 38 wow heck that was organized of me okay so that's one of my older ones so that one's coming up to two years old. Okay, so when I did start, I used to do them all more or less straight away and just buy them as I wanted another one. And then I just got into collecting. <laughs> so these are all now mainly when I started using the coins on AliExpress. So when you go onto AliExpress and you get your account and everything, they're like, there's a little thing on the home page that says coins. And you can go on each day and click it and collect and you get coins and various things. And the coins go against um, money off some of your canvases and things. So you can get them a little bit cheaper. I have learned over like the, what, 18, well, it's just over a year, isn't it, that I've been using them. That sometimes you can actually buy things cheaper without using the coins than with using the coins. So just always maybe double check them. Um, but yeah, and uh, yeah, I was sort of like getting bargains, or I thought I was getting bargains. This one came in three different strips, look, and you end up with rivers quite often where they've uh, overlapped. I've not put that one down very straight, have I? So this one I've called Cityscape. It's a 30 by 40 square. I believe all of these are double-sided tape squares. So why I've ordered so many and got so many when they are my least favourite thing to do, I've no idea. I think I just got carried away with getting a bargain. <laughs> so a lot of these will be going to like, um, well, possibly selling them if I can work out how to get them to people safely. I think if I roll them 
sort of inside out and roll them that way it seemed to sort of stretch the canvas and stop the rivers when I did my experiment so I may try doing that sending a few out to friends and see if that works because obviously I don't want to be giving people canvases that they then can't use that are a bit trashed so we'll see how we go uh, this one's a 40 by 30 as I say 35 colours and I called it cityscape so it's like looking through a fisheye lens that one of a uh, city in the background and they've got all the DMC codes on and you do get the number of the drills as well that you've got there so yeah I've not got the drills out because they're all in my box and um, all with the sim same label on as well so I know where they've come from and what they are okay so that's that one yeah I say the coins I tend not to use them quite as much now but to be honest there's not been as many on I don't know whether um they've done the thing as it were to get people into diamond painting so they don't need to do it anymore right this one is colorful owl and this one again is 35 colors and oh i've not put how much this one cost me they're all around about the three or four pound mark some of them have to get a little bit cheaper that one is the colorful owl now i've done that one in a special drill so i wanted to get him in the full drill uh, so I could see how he worked out and that one is a Momo art, the last one was Evershine um, there seems to be sort of three or four companies that tend to do the main lot of uh, the diamond paintings on AliExpress and when you get these, the square ones particularly and the double sided tape they all seem to be the same style so they're all from the same factory quite a softish canvas as well, quite a floppy canvas Okay, this one is only 34 colours and this one cost me $4.21 and it is Home is Where My Dog Is and absolutely there it is, so that's that one and as you can see I write the dates on them and it's got Evershine here so I've not written Evershine on it because there's no point in me writing my bad writing when it's already printed on the canvas we then have uh what did i call this one lion cubs and this one again is 35 colors this is from azqsd which is one of the four main stores that i seem to have got them from uh, again i've not written the price on this one but they tend to be around about the same price and that one is the lion cubs with the lion in the background okay so i've had some of these quite a, a while Oh, this one is Home, again AZQSD, 35 colours, quite repetitive this is going to be, and um, that's that one, I do like that one, oops, I do like that one, I do think I will be doing that one, um, probably the dog one as well, Home is where the dog is, I quite like the signs, okay, and the next one is... All right, I've called this one Aurora Borealis because I wasn't quite sure what it was, um, yeah, AZQSD again, 35 colours. And actually now looking at it, I thought it went that way. <laughs> but now I've just looked at it again and it's that way, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear, so it's like uh, mountains with a lake with all the different colours. Uh, yeah, oh dear. If I had a brain, I'd be dangerous, what can I say? <laughs> All right, and this one oh is tiger and that one's tiger and tiger cups very very pretty and that one is azqsd as well 35 colors told you i had a lot okay oh this one is cute owls i think i've got this one in um around as well i'm sure i've got this one uh twice so yeah and again i think that one was three or four pound here's at qsd see how i get suckered into bargains and using coins right this one is a lady this one was three pound 93 uh, again 35 colors and this is a huacan so it would be interesting to do one to see how they actually come out not really my style don't really do things like ladies and things like that this one's just got the two pieces again of the cover sheet i think most of them were just two pieces and then now any of that you get seem to come in the three pieces which i'm not keen on at all uh, this one is black and white zebra this is an ever shine and this one only cost me two pound 24 
So Claire would like this one because she loves 310. I do believe there's an, um, a, an event going on. Yeah, an event going on for 310. So that one would possibly qualify for that. And this one is Little Panda. Back to AZ QSD again. So that's a little panda again, 35 colours. So I just seem to have a whole collection of these. I could wallpaper the whole house with them, I think. And then we have uh, dolphins and a whale, 35 colours, AZQSD again. And I did actually get this one in a painting by numbers for my granddaughter. So she's got the painting by numbers. I'll have to ask her if she wants to do the um, diamond painting as well. Yeah, we've started getting the three pieces of cover sheet now on these okay let's see what's the next one. Oh, a christmas one. Oh, i'd forgotten about this one this is azqsd i could have done this for christmas in july look do you know this is the trouble you get them and you have so many and that uh, you forget what you've got so yeah he's a nice jolly santa okay i'll have to dig him out and try and get him done for this christmas seeing as i bought him for last christmas <laughs> And oh, we're back to another panda again there, AZQSD, 35 colours, very pretty. I've got his, all his bamboo there with him. Okay, we're back on Momo Art. Oh yeah, again, I oh, know then, I've lost the sticker off this one. Okay, uh, it'll maybe turn up stuck to something else. I do think I paid quite a cheapish price for this one, probably a couple of pounds. Because again, it's outside my comfort zone, it's not really cute and fluffy that I normally buy but I thought that was quite haunting I think that'd even pass for like um, drills and chills even though it's not sort of a Halloweeny picture it looks quite a haunting picture with the little girl in front of the mansion okay and then we have other oh, cyclists again Evershine and I've actually bought this one to do for a work colleague that uh, I used to work with that is a mad cyclist. He does lots of fundraising and stuff uh, on his bike. So, yeah, quite fancied letting him have that one once I've got it done. Oh, oh dear. Anybody got uh, extra hours per day that they can spare? Oh, this one was a really cute kitty. Do you know none of these have got labels on? I wonder why that is. Because all the drills have got labels on. I wonder if they've... I maybe got fed up of putting the labels on and them all dropping off. So I've just labelled the drills. <laughs> So that's the little kitty cat there in the different colours. A nice close-up of a little kitty cat. Again, 35 colours. I suppose at least once you've kitted up one, you've kitted up them all. <laughs> okay, oh, this is a slightly different canvas. This is a Hua can. And we've got a key code at both sides on this one. Ooh, three uh, strips on it, not good. And I've not put what this one cost me. This one is from October last year, but I just thought that was the most grumpy looking Robin I've ever seen. I've got a funny feeling I may even have paid full price for that one because I just liked it so much and I thought the Robin just looked so fed up. <laughs> I just had to get him. Okay. And then we're again, AZQSD. This one's only 29 colours. This is a gorgeous white stallion. Very pretty with all pinks and blues in the background. And then we have, uh, this one is from Evershine. This one's only 30 colours. And it's two snowy owls, which are gorgeous. If you've ever seen snowy owls in, the real, in real life, they are so beautiful. And they tend to sit on the floor quite a bit as well. I think that's because they like to disguise themselves in snow. So when you go to like places to see them, bird sanctuaries and things to see them, you tend to find that they're sat on the floor but they just look at you, really, yeah, what are you looking at kind of attitude. Brilliant, love them, love them to bits. Okay, uh, this one again is Momo Art, 35 colours we're back to, and this is Love You to the Moon and Back. Okay. And, gosh, I didn't realise I had so many. This one was only £2.09. This one... Where have I got this one from? AZQSD. Again, this one's got the key code on both sides. And it's only 20 colours because it's a black and white lion there. Another one for Claire. Okay. And then there's Wolf in a Forest. This one was £1.99. 
Okay, and that one is 35 colours, and that was from AZQSD as well. And then, oh, I had to get this one. This is a Hua Can one. This is a little Westie. So if you've been with me a while, you'll know I, have a, I used to have a Westie before I got my Scotties, uh, my little Harvey. So I am still very, um, very soft on little things with little Westies on. And again, 35 colours. But so uh, yeah, I thought that was quite pretty. So as I say, some of them I will definitely be keeping and I do want to do. And I will have to frame a girl and get them done. <coughs> and this is Momo at Panda. This one cost me £3.33. And I have actually done that one in a special. I did it for a card, I think, for my daughter last year, possibly. Or even the year before. Um, but yeah, it was very pretty. So I've got it now in the square. Okay, we're back on who I can. Oh yeah, now then, this one, I have actually got this one in a round poured glue. And this is the square double-sided tape. So I'm going to do some sort of comparison with these. Um, it was a who I can. I've not put the price on this. I think this was probably about three or four pound. And yeah, so watch this space. I will be doing this one as a comparison. It is on my list to do. Okay, and then, oh, this one. <laughs> this is from uh, November 2020. Um, and yeah, this was a mistake. Not a mistake for uh, <laughs> the canvas or anything. But this was when I wasn't really thinking about the sizes. And I saw the picture and I thought, oh, I've got a big gap on my spare bedroom wall. And that would just look really, really good on that wall, thinking that I was going to get something really big. Why I thought it was going to be so big, I don't know. So it would look like a window on the wall. And then it arrived. <laughs> yeah, and it's only 40 by 30. So that's gone out the window. So that's why I've not actually got this one done. And this one was from GB Craft Saving. I'm not sure if they're still on the go at the moment i've not seen any uh, adverts or anything from them for a while uh it is 35 colors the same um it hasn't got the extra bit on the end the little flappy bit on the end of this so it looks a bit smaller and this one cost me eight pounds 75 but yeah i think this was on a facebook advert and i thought oh yeah and i said to hubby look that'd look really good because the uh, room is like greys and blues and it'd look really good and it'd look like a window on the wall <laughs> Have I learnt the lesson since then? Possibly not. I'm still not brilliant on sizes. Ah, right, now then, these two are my experiment ones that I did where they were quite trashed and I folded them back up. Let me just see. This is the flower one from Evershine that cost me £3.45 uh, and it's just, it's 35 colours. And I've got my experiments where I rolled up, rolled back up the double-sided tape canvases to see if I could spoil them. Because people always say, once you flatten them out, don't roll them back up. And I thought, why? What happens? Um, so I think, actually, by leaving this flat, I don't know whether you can see that. I think because of the, um, you know, you can't, but you can see it there, look. Just now, by leaving that flat... It's not showing, is it? Let's see if I can get it in the camera. Yeah, you can sort of... No, you can't really see it. Let me just put this back down again. So that's interesting to know. So by leaving it flat, since I did my last... Well, showed my last experiment on camera, I've got a ridge running right down there, which is a river. So that is where... The canvas has come this way and the glue has stayed taut so that actually now needs scoring so that this flattens down so that you don't end up with bumps actually that's flattened down a little bit just by doing that so this looks like it's actually got more bumps and creases in it from having it flat in this folder and as you can see there is a lot in this folder so it is heavy and it's got my other things on top of it as well so that's interesting to know but we have had a lot of really hot weather as well. So let's have a look at the giraffe. The giraffe in a taxi. If you were going along the road and you saw a giraffe in a taxi. 
actually these days the amount of things that happen to me and hubby i don't think i'd be surprised if i saw a giraffe in a taxi go past right yeah this has got another river going there look let me see if that's on the canvas as well no not really so i will be doing a further experiment um the lovely chris has given me a canvas that i can have a play about with i am still working on taking double-sided tape off and uh, put it in it making it a poured glue canvas so you know keep watching it is something i am still working on but because i've not got sort of a, a something i could show you that i can say this is how i do it and this is how it works and doesn't take you like 20 hours to do then i've not shown it on the channel yet but i am still playing about and working on that so if you want the link um to these experiments that i've done let me know and uh, i'll let you have it but yeah it was really interesting i rolled one canvas back up how it came and i rolled the other canvas the other way and it didn't seem to do it any harm at all so mm, interesting okay and then we have oh that's the one that chris gave me that i'll be doing the experiments with because it's um it's a 30 by 30 and it's just far too small it's the frozen picture the standard frozen picture that is just about on everything i think um yeah so that one's a fairly new one and then what's this one? Oh, and then that's my mystery painting from uh, sena direct that's one that i actually bought i have got another two that uh, i was sent as a pr package I paid nine pound 29 for that one 33 colors um let's say it's a mystery painting so I'm not wholly sure what it's going to be. Although, oh, now looking at it again, maybe I am sure what it's going to be. That was silly. I've just let that sticker go on there. Let me just take that off a second. I think this is going to be maybe something similar to the things I've already got. So let me just pop that back on there. So that is those poured glue, uh, double sided tape ones there. As I say, there are a lot there that uh, will have to go because I'm never going to get them done in a million years right this one i did actually buy um with the intention of buying a cheap copy of um a diamond art club painting and then buying the diamond art club painting as well and comparing them but the diamond art club painting has just got uh too expensive for me now i think when i last looked it was 55 dollars when i first looked it was about 34 dollars so unfortunately that's not going to happen um, but this one I'll probably just throw away. It's just rubbish. Um, it's very, very dark and it came in an awful condition. It's not too bad now, but that is just not going to drill up whatsoever. You know, the colours are just meh. So I don't know why I've still got it really. Um, it's definitely going to run away, I think, unless anybody would like that. You'd have to let me know. I don't even know whether I've still got all the drills for it. So, yeah, right onto the smaller ones. I've not got many small ones left at all because I have gifted an awful lot of them. Uh, this is uh, this was from Hobbycraft. If you saw my Hobbycraft video the other day, um, you'll have seen I picked one of those up the A3 size. So, this one is just a little Christmas gnome. This was from AZQSD and it's 30 colours. Okay, and I believe it's a 30 by, yeah, 30 by 30. Okay. And then we've got a little owl with a scarf on and a heart. 30 by 30, 30 colours. Again, AZQSD. This one is a roaring lion from AZQSD. 30 colours. Okay. And then these are from Diamond Painting Art. I'm not sure if they've now got a different name. Uh, diamond Painting Collector it says here, but I think Diamond Painting out of the Combined Fullers Diamond Painting or something like that now. And they were really expensive, albeit I do think it was buy three, get one free. But these were £15.99 each. Um, I've got February 21 on this, but I'm not sure whether I bought them earlier than that. Because I seem to think I've had them a long time. Uh, yeah, so they are both, uh, what size are we? They're a 30 by 20, 30 colours, 
and that is a lot of money I've paid. They are squares and I've got Stonehenge and the poppies and I bought these when I bought the um, hand on the Union Jack flag that I did for the Jubilee decoration that I did. So, yeah. Um, hmm. Okay, not brilliant, but yeah, they were a lot of money for a little painting, but uh, I didn't maybe know any better then. Okay, so that's all I've got left in the uh, double-sided tape. I've got a couple more that I've got kitted up to do. Um, but yeah, they're the ones that I've got for now. So then partials. Quite a few here. So you've seen... <laughs> This was my diamond dots one from my friend uh, last November and uh, yeah it's Rudolph with the um, bottom missing. <laughs> I think he's had an accident, I think he's backed up a bit fast and his bottom squished a bit. He's very happy and I don't like the little bear. This one is from FG Normal and it's three giraffes and a baby. Uh, it cost me three ninety nine, and as a partial with just a white background and not much on it. I didn't think that was um, a brilliant painting, but I'm gonna do it and see what it looks like. I think probably because it's got the white background, I may cut that out and put it on a different background, put it on a jungly background or something, because it, it just looks too plain to me. Okay, then, oh, these were my bargain buys. Uh, this was £1.95. But literally, all your diamond paint is the B in the middle. None of the rest of it, it's all, say, partial. So none of the background at all has any diamonds on them. It is just literally the B in the middle. So, yeah, 195 I didn't mind paying that because I do like that picture. The actual B, I did a 30 by 30 of that B picture as my first full drill diamond painting. So, yeah, a soft spot for that one as well. We've then got a little hedgy hog with the apples. So there's only the hedgehog that you diamond paint. And that one was from Goddess of Luck Store, $2.70 on AliExpress. Uh, eight different colours. So I just thought that was cute. We're back to Westies again. Look how sweet it is. That I had to get that one. I know you can get this in a full drill, and I think that's probably what I thought I'd ordered because I ordered these both at the same time. This was Goddess of Luck Store as well. Uh, it is just the Westie, the West Highland White Terrier that has the drills on, and he was two dollars seventy as well. So it's probably around about two pound twenty uh, in English money. And then this one is the Goddess of Luck Store. And it's a tree. And again, I thought I was getting a full drill uh, for £3.75, this one. And it is just literally the tree in the middle. That, uh, yeah, is diamond painted. So that was, uh, yeah, slightly um, unexpected when I got that one. I have then, of course, got my four um, diamond paintings from the works. So I've got Panda. I've got the two London scene ones which I've shown unboxings on, and I've got the tiger. So they are all partials. Um, I may take them out of these boxes because I need the space and pop them into my folders. Okay, but I have thought about gifting those. So that's why I've kept them in the boxes at the moment. I've then got all my uh, ones that are all still in the boxes that are pre-stretched canvases. I'll look at that one in a second. So this is a gorgeous butterfly. That I got from my friend from my birthday last year. It's uh, a little 18 by 18 one, and I think these are like from the range uh, here in the UK, so they're the Crystal Craft ones. I've got two from Craft Buddy, which are the uh, ones with the little frame in them. They're 21 centimeters by 25 centimeters. This one I got earlier in the year when I got my other Peter Rabbit items around Easter. And this one I've got recently with the new Christmas launches that came out. So I've got those to do. I've then got my little sloth from Craft Buddy Crystal Art as well. He's a 30 by 30, already on a stretched canvas. And then I have my gorgeous swans again that my friend bought me uh, as a present. It's a 50 by 40 and I love the fact that the swans do the love heart so that's 
one on my list to definitely get done because it's absolutely gorgeous. Now then, this one I've had a while and I believe I paid about 9 99 but I've got a lot of other things as well. I've got some stickers and I've got something else as well, all in the 9 99 So it was a really good bargain. And this is now on a pre-stretched canvas. Diamond Diary, this one. They are on Amazon. So I just thought that was really cute. And I love the way the fact that they've done the stretched canvas so that it looks like you've got like a decorated frame on it as well. Really pretty, that one. Love that one. I've forgotten I had this one. It's been behind the door for so long. I've forgotten I had it. That's your picture, look. That's your little key code. You've got all stickers here as well to put on your boxes, which is excellent. It was a really good toolkit with paper clips and all sorts in it to put onto your bags to keep them closed. So that was really good. And then they did send a leaflet in with it. And I have seen some of the other things on, uh, oh, I think I got these stickers as well. My granddaughter got the stickers. Yeah, I got stickers and all sorts when I got this. So it was a really good buy. So yeah, um, I'll keep an eye out for more of those because I did like that one. I've got, then got these two, which are the crystal creations, possibly from the works. I know the works do them. I know B&M and Home Bargains do them in the UK. And I believe the range sometimes have them as well. And I've actually started this one. Look, I took this one to hospital uh, while hubby was having his chemotherapy um, and his blood transfusions. And I started doing it and then I just found I couldn't concentrate. So I had to put it away. But yeah, they just, you know, come in your little trays and you get your pen and everything. And you can just sit there and uh, do those. OK, and then I've got the wolf one as well, which I've not started. So I do like the pens. They're a little bit different with the little crystals in the top there. Okay, and then I've got my uh, koala bear, which uh, I opened up recently. And then I have all my, my paint gem ones as well. So a lot of diamond paintings. Okay, well, that's all sort of my medium size and framed canvases I've got. Um, I, I am going to have to do another little bit. You let me know if you do want to see any more or if you're bored, because this is like the third video of my stash. Um, I've got all my large canvases that I need to do. So if you're wanting to see those, let me know in the comments down below. But if you've enjoyed seeing these, a thumbs up is always much appreciated. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.